Inevitably, when the gas companies come knocking at your door for direct impact on you by leasing lands close to uh, Rochester in Monroe County, they're going to tell you at least four lies. I call them myths here. Uh, the reason I call them myths because a myth is, in effect, a lie. At the center of every myth, whether it's Santa Claus or fracking is a 60-year-old well-proven technology, is a kernel of truth. Uh, the, again, every myth starts as some bit of truth, but then it gets embellished to become larger than it is, and it becomes mostly a lie. So in, in, very quickly, I'm going to go over four of many such myths, probably the ones that you hear most often and the ones that you'll hear first. Um, and I'm going to be very quick on this, and again, I apologize. So the first myth is fracking is a 60-year-old, well-proven technology. Therefore, don't worry about it. Okay, so let's investigate that. Strictly speaking, it's true. Fracking is a 60-year-old, well-proven technology. But we're not talking about fracking. We're talking about unconventional development of gas from shales using high-volume, slick-water hydraulic fracturing from long laterals. You and I all know that that means fracking. We've abbreviated it to mean fracking. But I hope you all understand, especially you youngins who are just coming to the issue for the first time, that it's not fracking that's the problem, per se. It's the whole process. It's the entire system. It's the life cycle of production of gas using this technology. And it has taken four, and there they are, four technologies that relatively recently came together, not 60 years ago, uh, and those are directional drilling, high volume, high frac fluid volumes, the use of slick water chemical additives, and multi-well pads and cluster drilling. So quick 101 on shale gas development. Uh, HVSFLL. Okay. Here's the, the cartoon that everybody starts with. Obviously, we start, have to start by drilling down vertically, but because of directional drilling, we can now drill sub-horizontally. And these horizontal segments are called the laterals. And typically, the laterals in Pennsylvania now are 5,000 to 10,000 feet long, uh, which means deeper than the well. Um, that's a miracle of technology, to be able to drill horizontally. It's a necessary technology to develop an unconventional resource from shale, because shale, as you can see here, uh, comes in a layer that's relatively thin compared to the depth. So to get as much well as possible in the shale, you drill laterally through the shale. But in doing so, the next thing that happens is you encounter unique geology, which also makes this sort, of shale gas, this sort of gas development unconventional. This is not your grandfather's well, like the hundred or so I passed on the way up from Ithaca this morning, uh, that we came out of the Trenton Black River or other sandstone or limestone formations. This is shale. Shale is already fractured. If you walk up to Gonnet Gorge on the west side of Cayuga Lake, this is what you see. Notice all these lines. They were not sawed by humans. They are natural fractures. That's where the gas is, down in the Marcellus and the Utica, in those fractures. So when you drill a lateral through them, there's my depiction of the red line as the lateral, and that lateral could be two miles long. That lateral is going to intersect thousands of those natural fractures, and the hydraulic fracturing process is not fracturing the rock. It's re-fracturing the rock. It's opening up those existing joints so that they become now pathways, indicated here in green, for the gas to flow out of those joints in a network, just like a traffic network, uh, back into that lateral and back up to the surface of the well. But now that means we have to use a lot of fluid, because if you've got a two-mile long lateral intersecting thousands of joints, all of which have to be reopened, you can't use 80,000 gallons of frac fluid, which is the current legal limit in New York State. You have to use between 5 and 10 million gallons. So we're talking about a factor of 10 to 100 more fracking fluid that has to go down the well, 10 to 100 times more waste that's going to be produced from the well. So it's not your grandfather's well. Next uh, technology, uh, slick water. To pump that much fluid a couple of miles through a pipe four inches in diameter at 15,000 pounds per square inch, water dissipates too much friction. You've got to make the water lubricated. So you add a chemical to it to lubricate it, one of a number of chemicals that have to be added that we'll probably hear more about today. Uh, and finally, because the gas, as I indicated here, is everywhere where there are fractures, an objective, a technological and economic objective of the gas industry in developing gas from unconventional sources like shale is to drill everywhere. Pause for drama. Drill everywhere, because the gas is everywhere. 
So, summary from the New York State SGEIS. How old is the technology? Is it true that it's 60 years old? No, it's about four years old in its entirety. All those four elements of the technology, which will, it's are being brought to bear in Pennsylvania and Ohio and West Virginia, and will, if permitted to New York State, be brought to bear here. The total age of those four technologies together is four years. What do I mean by uh, everywhere? You'll show this picture again in a few minutes. This is a map of the Dallas-Fort Worth airport. Yeah, the airport. As currently drilled. Every one of these red dots is a pad, a location where drilling began. Every red line is a well. This is what I mean by everywhere. If an operator, a company, can get access to a con continuous, contiguous, large, con large contiguous piece of land like this, no competition from another company, and all the landowners agree, drill, baby, drill. And in New York State, unfortunately, we have this thing called compulsory integration, which makes it more difficult for recalcitrant landowners to say, stop, not here. This is what would happen everywhere in upstate New York. That would be the ideal. Drill everywhere. All right, so the myth is it's a 60-year-old well-proven technology. It's not. It's less than 10 years old in its entirety, four years old in its most recent manifestation. So what? Uh, well, because it's new, there's been insufficient time to conduct adequate scientific investigations of all of the environment, health, and economic effects from the process itself and the inevitable accidents which accompany it.